Tim Scott officially kicks off 2024 GOP presidential campaign. And again, Tim Scott ain't going to be doing nothing but going from state to state saying stuff like, America is not a racist country because I'm black and look how successful I am. Like, that's pretty much all he's going to do. America needs peace and togetherness. I got to see, we got to see if he got a campaign video. Senator Tim Scott made his 2024 presidential bid official on Monday, speaking from his alma mater, Charleston Southern University. The Southern California lawmaker and one, uh, and one of the most prominent black Republicans in the U.S. launched his campaign with an optimist, with an optimistic speech reflecting on faith and criticizing, criticizing President Biden. Oh, his faith, what is like Christian faith or some shit. America's a Christian nation and it's not racist. Okay, that, that's basically going to be his whole campaign. Today, I am living, here we go. I am living proof that America is the land of opportunity and not a land of oppression. <laughs> I didn't even have to read it. See, we already knew I told you. I didn't even read that. We just pulled it up. That's going to be his entire campaign. Senate, uh, Senate Majority Whip John, uh, John Toon gave the opening prayer. Oh, yeah, got, got to do that. Scott last week filed his paperwork for the Republican nomination, but he has been laying the groundwork for a campaign for months, including launching an exploratory committee last month. And honestly, I mean, this may end up being decent advertisement for, for him as a Republican. But I mean, like, I think that he his position as senator in South Carolina is probably relatively secure. Um, you know, unless people hate him, then they're, they, you know, he'll be there. So, uh, you know, he know he ain't going to uh, make president. But more, uh, like we went over before. Uh, because Ron DeSantis is basically just doing so poorly, uh, more and more people are are gearing up to announce uh, their bid for the Republican nomination. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, there's going to be a lot more people who enter the race. But, you know, again, th this is this is his entire campaign. I am living proof that America is not racist because not only not only am I a black man, I'm a very, very black man. And I'm the senator and I'm successful. Like, that's going to be his whole thing. Like, look at me. Like, he's he just going to be parading out in front of him. Look at me. I'm black and America's not racist. <laughs> that's going to be his whole shit. Scott is one of the Senate's most uh, formidable fundraisers and enters the race with $22 million uh, in hand, a senior campaign official said. But, you know, again, like I said, like he his position is very secure as senator in South Carolina. So, um, you know, just in terms of his personal career, the, 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 the networking he'll be able to do, the deals he'll be able to make, th th this will be pretty, pretty productive for his career overall. He knows that he's not going to become president. You know what I'm saying? So he's also only made, uh, he's also already made, uh, a $6 million ad buy in primary states, in early primary states, Iowa and New Hampshire. Scott's official announcement brings him into a crowded GOP field that includes former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and former President Trump, former Governor Arkansas Asa Hutchinson and entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy have also officially entered the GOP primary, while Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to soon enter the race. I believe he is expected, uh, Ron DeSantis is expected to enter the race of this week, if I, if I recall correctly. Um, but yes, Nikki Haley, who and keep in mind, absolutely none of these people uh, are taking any real swings or real shots at Donald Trump. They're doing everything they can to avoid it. However, people are taking swings at Ron DeSantis. And one of the people who has taken very, very effective and hilarious swings at Ron DeSantis is Nikki Haley. <laughs> she been, she was going at him. It was pretty funny. Um but yeah, uh, Asa Hutchinson, he was like, oh, yeah, if I become president, I'll, I'm going to sign a national abortion ban. We'll definitely we'll definitely be on board for that. And then Vivek Ramaswamy talking about raising the voting age to 25. <laughs> so, you know, that's what we got so far. But there's definitely going to be more people who enter the Republican primary. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> this shit is this shit is funny as hell. But. That boy Puddin, Narlaus, I don't know if you've seen it, but that boy Puddin, that boy Puddin out here wiping his, wiping his nose and then, and then patting people on the back and rubbing it in. Well, one, one of his, one of his supporters, one of his supporters, and I'll, I'll post it later. Well, one of his supporters 
was it seemed like he was really excited to be there. And, and he invested a decent amount to be there in terms of his time and his effort. And he told him he was like, <laughs> he was like, I drove over an hour to be here. And Ron DeSantis was like, oh, th thanks. Thanks for doing that. And then he just turned around and walked away. <laughs> People make Ron DeSantis so uncomfortable. It's so it's funny as hell. Because he's in, he's in a position of leadership, you know what I'm saying? Like it's okay, it's okay if you're somebody who doesn't have strong people skills, but not for the position that he's in, you know what I'm saying? Like even if he wasn't running for president, just as governor, like and that that that's really not gonna help you. It's just really not because part of leadership is being able to you know kind of connect and, and relate with people. 